What's up guys, Steve here. Welcome back to my channel where we're going over our rental car fleet and how to make it run as smoothly as possible. So today we are going to get into November's earnings of my fleet of seven cars, what went wrong, what went good, basically what could have changed and why my earnings are what they are. All right, so let's jump right into it. I will tell you guys right now, these are just my earnings after Turo's cut. That's all you got. I'm not going into what my bills are and all that stuff in this video. I just given you a breakdown of what each car, of what each car is making and what it did for the month as a fleet in general. So we can go over here. November is sitting at 56.74 with uh, $323. Looks like missed earnings, which is that red right there. So let's kind of break this down of what happened here and why it ended up dropping quite a bit compared to uh the previous month october so october was doing really well so let's jump right in let's get into the fiesta over here this thing was booked out for a month straight um for november 677 that's when i kind of had it a little bit lower rate and we can go jump over here two vehicles as you can see i got an inspection report that's going to happen on that thing real soon it's out on a rental so that inspection report's actually due in the 31st and it comes back the 31st, it's fine. So November, here you go. It was down for two, three days and basically booked out for the rest of the month. So this is all just one trip and then actually they extended it in December, so that's kind of working out. Makes that one a lot more passive. The price was a little bit cheaper, but you can see the utilization rate and I'm not moving that car around a whole lot, so that's kind of nice. So let's go back over here to earnings. Uh, we can go and just so you know when you try and check this stuff out on the desktop or an Android It doesn't pull up the previous months Like it does on iPhone. I don't know what the deal is with it I really wish that they would turn would change some of that stuff, but that's kind of the the going thing with it But that's kind of the deal with it. So you can see like I said the Fiesta did all right 677 um, some of that is paying off until December, but Regardless, let's go down to the Ford Focus. So here's what happened here in November, $297. This was one trip that I had. And then I lost out on, I actually lost out on uh, about $320. That was because the renter at the beginning of the month, she ended up hitting the elk. I got videos on that, on how to handle that. So give you guys an idea. But that put me out with everything going on, getting a uh, estimate on that focus, it just kind of put me out a few weeks, which actually has turned into two months now. So this gives you an idea. There you go. One trip ended on the first, the next trip started on the second, and then Saturday the car came back and it's been dead in the water ever since. This really darked out gray that was, uh, this car was actually booked out and was scheduled to make me about a thousand, a little over a thousand dollars that month. Uh, this is one trip that I had to cancel the dark gray and basically right now I'm still have this thing snoozed Through December so kind of a bum deal right there. It's just one of those uh, One of those things you got to deal with with the game uh, It's not a matter of if but when it happens. So just be prepared for that. That's why I always say don't overextend yourself That's where the focus is at. it's got it's out for the next two months and obviously you can see December, I got no earnings on that thing because it's still shut down. So now we can jump into the Civic. Now the Civic did pretty well, a little over $1,000, 1038. This is for the month of November. Let's go down here to the Civic calendar. And you can see this actually utilization rate was horrible. Uh, I was able to get some of those bookings that were in the focus. I was able to get them into the, uh, the Civic. But for the most part, this was the utilization rate here. It could have been booked out a whole lot more, so it would have been nice to see that, just to see how much that car really would have made with all these uh, grayed out days. But for the amount of days it was utilized, it was still pretty impressive that I was able to pull $1,000 out of that. Uh, that was a combination between the prices, daily prices and uh, delivery fees. So that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on there. So the Hyundai Accent. This thing actually did really well, almost $1,100, just a dollar shy of $1,100. And we can go over, and this thing was doing pretty well 
for November. You can see there's what, three, four, maybe five days total that that thing was down. So for November, not too bad at all. Um, obviously our prices are able to be a little bit higher out here in Arizona right now because this is when all the snowbirds, you know, the retired people that are coming for the nicer weather in the winter time, they're out here. So we're, it's kind of our touristy time. So it's actually worked out very well so far. Uh, the Jeep, Jeep actually, I believe, no, nope, let's go back to earnings for November. Oh, it wasn't nearly as good as I thought. It looks like I probably had one or two rentals on this thing, about $604. Let's actually go over and see how well this thing was utilized. Um, I did have some damage on this thing and it was mostly because it got taken off road which is uh, against service, terms of service. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, December, for some reason, this thing is not booking. I need to lower some prices, but it is what it is. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basically a little over a week worth of utilization. And that is why this thing just didn't really make that much, $604, but it still covered all of its expenses and still made a little bit of money. So can't be too upset with it uh, definitely should probably lower the prices a little bit just to kind of see that thing out on the road a little bit more and pulling its weight a little bit better uh, Kia Forte this thing actually did pretty good $1,100 and this was uh, this was for a few reasons uh, this one we can go back over to the calendar but this one had some reimbursements uh, somebody decided to smoke and throw up in the car, which was really great, really great. So I basically got that cleaning, cleaning fee reimbursed. And uh, yes, you are gonna have to deal with that kind of stuff if you're renting out cars. Sorry, happens. So that kind of shows you for November, it did pretty well. There was actually quite a few days it was still down. So it could have done a little bit better, two, four, six, eight, Nah, it's probably about 10 full days that this thing could have still been rented out. So I will definitely try harder and you will see December. It's booked out pretty well. Um, but you'll see December, all my cars at the beginning of December and in November. There was issues with that. Uh, ended up being super sick and had to find somebody to help me out with some of the cars as well as shut down the availability on some of these cars because I was sick and Basically, it's just me running it. So let's go down to the Mazda. Mazda for November, $787, not too shabby. Let's go over to the calendar and we can see how well this thing did. There you go, not too bad. It looks like it was just kind of a weekend warrior for the most part. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 days, same thing as the Forte. It was down for pretty close to 10 days. So it could have done a little bit better. Same thing with this month. I don't have a whole lot of future bookings. I should probably really go in there and change up some of my prices because there's quite a few cars out there. I've been checking around. There's quite a few cars that are out there and basically listed pretty low. So I don't worry about the cars too much if they're like way underpriced and undervalued. I'll let my reputation kind of perceive me with that and the customer service so I kind of still keep them a little bit higher but I definitely don't want to undercut everybody including myself that's the last thing I want to do is have a car out there and basically paying somebody else to rent it out so with all that kind of gives you an idea of exactly where I'm sitting for November it was a pretty good month like I said the $5,600 it could have been a little bit better the focus was down for the full month uh, as well as December it looks like it's gonna be down for the full month of December so that's roughly in this time right now that we're having it's roughly a thousand bucks that i cannot count on because it's you know it's down for the count and i'm waiting it is on the body shop it's uh we just got all the parts back in and it should hopefully be back on the road within the next two weeks hopefully right before christmas but we'll see what happens there and since i did have to snooze it hopefully it doesn't get dropped in the algorithm too much with turo but we'll see what happens so for right now, you can see exactly where we're at. You guys can hopefully do the same thing, if not do better than what I'm doing. If you guys are new to this and you haven't really quite made that jump and you're just not quite sure, check the description below. I got the course. I got ways to get a hold of me. If you want to learn more, get one-on-one -on -one time, or if you want help just growing your fleet, period. 
So check all that stuff down below, all my products that I'm actually using for my fleet and how to make it as passive as possible. I try not to get around and stuck in the day to day too much with this stuff. So obviously you are gonna have to put in some time, but for the most part, I try and make it as passive as possible. So I hope all this helps you guys out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, do all that stuff down below and we will catch you guys on the next one. Keep grinding y'all, later.